Okay, welcome back again to this 66-1, born December 6, 1921. Again, I keep saying it because it, it's just amazing that this machine is nearly 100 years old, and it just sews and sews and sews. Everything I've put in front of it after I got done servicing it, just, it's, it's like a walk in the park. And we're going to demonstrate that again now with this heavy grade denim. When we did the hand crank demonstration, I believe we did, let me double check here, we did eight layers. Now we're going to do ten. We raised it just a little bit because of that motor being on there. Again, 0.75 amps. Not that I'm not as strong as that motor with a hand crank, but I, I just decided to bump it up by two. So we're starting with two. Now we're up to four. We're up to six. We're up to eight. And finally, we're all the way up to ten layers. Now, many of you that have contacted us about our next listing indicated you're going to sew denim. You're probably never going to go all the way up to 10 layers, but it's great to know that this machine can get the job done if you need to go that high. So follow me down to the needle, and notice as well, as I slide it underneath that presser foot, even with 10 layers of heavy grade denim, there's still room to spare. So if you're looking to do some heavy grade quilting, whatever it is, you can have the confidence that the clearance underneath that presser foot is just unbelievable. All right, 10 layers of heavy grade denim. Here we go. I decided to be good. Because again, I think it's just as important to show, and I've said this in other videos, that you can harness a power as it is to demonstrate the power itself. And you know what? We just did 10 layers of heavy grade denim and look at that stitch quality. The spacing, the formation, everything about the integrity of that top stitch is just absolutely picture perfect. I turn it to the side, look at again what 10 layers of heavy grade denim looks like and remember how easily we just went through it. It's absolutely crazy. Now there's our lock-in. You know what? I've said it in numerous videos. You can fool people sometimes if that machine is not properly serviced. Uh, by the quality of the top stitch, you can't fool them with that lock-in stitch. And look at how gorgeous that lock-in stitch, in fact, is. You know what? If you're looking to sew denim, you couldn't do any better than this 66-1.